we have a problem okay hold on i did this incorrect let me start over and actually start the video like i usually do <sighs> oh my gosh we have a problem the problem is the movie industry actually every industry in general whoever's producing these movies making these movies fired them get them out the booth you're doing a horrible job that shit is fucking trash dog get the that fuck is away. Is actually someone just burned down hollywood in general because whatever's going on over there i know i know who you are i, I know what you get into p diddy and niggas but get out my face so i got news that the joker trailer dropped i remember watching the joker once and that movie was phenomenal great times great thing and now i come to find out that they're making a second one clap it up stop clapping I'm gonna stop it's a musical why they did this with willy wonka they did this with mean girls and they're doing it with joker why you guys literally have no more idea who's in charge fire all of them nick even if they not even a nick. Broke -ass nigga. i'm sick and tired of you guys ruining good movies i'm sick and tired of you guys doing stuff for the money give me my money i thought like you really want your money though like somebody really took your money like, but bro just give me my money i understand i'm about my bag too. you have a big enough bag you're, you're hollywood do you, do you know the budgets for these movies you would think you would make movies for the sake of great entertainment great quality like me like me like my channel great quality content if you guys are subscribed you are you would know that you're subscribed right because realistically if you're not subscribed you're the one losing out not me <laughs> i'm just like i am honestly scared for what i'm about to witness what i'm about to see but <laughs> you're with me so we're gonna watch this again what joker foley the fo fo foley the fo fo joke for joker fo folly i duh see bro like is that what french or something i ain't take that class i did take that class i ain't pay attention that's how don't look <laughs> i'm again boonies beat what's happening Oh, he's in jail. Oh, he better be in jail. Last thing I remember from the movie, he killed someone on national television. Homelander, he did not get this. Two Fs were not given. Oh, he all wet and soaking. We use music to make us whole. True. To balance the fractures within ourselves. Okay, okay. Okay, wait. Ooh. I am horny. Who's I've this? With my life like you have. Uh, is this supposed to be Harley? No way. That's not. That's not that, that, right? It's not supposed to be who I think that's supposed to be like. Uh, it's, it's a random. It's a random side character. Side character. Okay, we got the spotlight. He's singing. He's singing. He wants to be a star. A star. A singer. A star. Let's get out of here. Okay. Are uh, he getting with? Excuse me? I can't be I can't be the only one confused right now. Y'all are in the middle of the street. Someone's gonna get run over. That's Lady Gaga? That's wait, wait, this is wait, wait. That's Lady Gaga? Yeah. I'm not a Gaga fan. I, I don't know what she calls her community fan base, but she's not touching the lawbreakers, right? Right, right? I'm sorry. That was unnecessary. That was unnecessary. I'm pretty sure the last time I see Lady Gaga was in that one American Horror Story uh season with the hotel and like she was a vampire. Like she was like sucking blood from, from organ pieces and um. Nah, I feel like this movie's about to be a fever dream. Uh, for sure. Cause they're crazy. We're just gonna be in their head. Okay. I just love my dog. You know, little chopper. I just love my dog. I am a menace. Keep me a rapper's like. I want to see the real you. Don't look at me. Hey, keep looking at her. Don't look at me. Look at her. Whoa. Okay. That was that was a nice shot. That was a nice shot. October. I can't wait till October. 28 million views in five freaking days. <laughs> they got motion. I can't lie. They got motion. Low key, new rock stars did drop a little trailer breakdown. We might have to watch. Eric Voss, tell me what's up. Welcome back to New Rock Stars. I'm Eric Voss, and this is a breakdown for the first trailer for Jokey Folia Du. Folia Du. Jokey Folia Du. Mental illness shared by two people in close association. But if you're translating that, do it in the horrible French accent I used to say the phrase. Real first look at Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn in this state. Lady Gaga! I'm like, bro, say her name right. See, that was disrespectful. I thought I was being disrespectful. See, that was, hey, hey, Eric, they're coming for you. The, the Gaga-ers are coming for you. We wouldn't have 
the cinema industry without the popularity of movie musicals in the 50s and 60s. And I'm kind of sad to see that they've gone out of style. But hush up, hush up, I don't care. I don't care. I'm here to see people, I'm here to see people drive fast cars and go to the moon. I'm not talking about Fast and Furious. <laughs> Please don't make it another Fast and Furious. Please, just give it up. Please, they need, they need to give it up. They're milking something. Arthur is attacked by three drunk investment bankers and he violently lashes out in defense and he shoots them, but one of the guys, he just straight up kills out of rage. He was jumping him. Is that really his fault though? Like, really like, out of rage? Like, oh, Spew's protecting his life. He had to make sure they stand down and don't get back or like any like action movie or thriller movie ever or anytime there's a killer on the loose and someone decides to attack them, they for some reason attack them once. They're down on the ground, helpless. Then they decide to get up and run away when they could just, you know, stomp them out a little more. Stabby stab a little more, just you know. It ends up stirring this controversial movement in favor of someone fighting back against the rich. And clown mask starts. Is that Domino? Out, and he ends up creeping on young Bruce Wayne on the family estate. <laughs> and now for Pitt, we learn that Arthur's relationship with Sophie Zazie Beats throughout the movie was all a figment of his imagination. Arthur ends up getting. I forgot all this happened. I'm not. Gonna it's so crazy. You change your hair once. Most of the time, I can tell it's Lady Gaga because she dressed like Lady Gaga. You know how Lady Gaga dress. You know what I mean? Like, sing your face. It's out there. Singing in a music class, we must ask ourselves, is she real? Because this joke... That's a good question. Harley has to be real. There's no Harley. There's no Joker without Harley. This was literally Domino from Deadpool, which I completely forgot. I have to watch Deadpool again. Deadpool 3 comes out this year. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm not gonna lie. We have some bangers this year. We have less bangers to watch, but there are... But the pinnacle of bangers... Is, is, am I making? Am I yammering? You want me to stop? You want me to keep playing? Also. Everything we see her in in this movie might just be something that's inside of his mind. I choose to believe that she is real, or at least as real as anything is in this movie. They're gonna be real. They're gonna be together. But they both have some type of hallucination effects, as you see how Joker already had in the first. Movie. There are certain scenes where, like you know, it looks like they're on stage and stuff. I feel like all that is just gonna be in their head when they're going to be like in an abandoned building like there's like one dim light in the corner a couple crackheads in the corner quinn's backstory is as an employee at arkham hospital dr harleen quinzel who falls in love with the joker and allows him to kind of drive her crazy and oh, her no, no, she, she's, no, she's, she's always she's, she's always been crazy because you're gonna fall in sleep you fall in love with a sane asylum person like Nah, he get you. Nah, she, uh, hey, she horny. Hey, hey, hey. hey. So we're saying we use music to make us whole to balance the fractures in ourselves. That he didn't want to call this movie a musical. What he okay. said was, "quote I like to say it's a movie where music is an essential element. To me, that doesn't veer too far from the first film. One of the Ooh, first ways I describe the character okay. is that he has music in him. He has a lot of grace to him. It's different, but it will make sense when you see it." Just off that statement. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. He got me. I'm, I'm here for Seems it. Seems like Arthur is just now imagining himself in like Singing in the Rain. By the way, Singing in the Rain, all time best movie musical starring Debbie Reynolds, who was Carrie Fisher's mother. And it's not my, Debbie Ryan. So get out of my, get out of my. The 1964 musical film, The Umbrellas of Cherbourg. And I feel like we're going to get references to a lot of How do you know this? In this film. Now, who has watched that? You had, you had to be at least 90 years old to know what that means. So maybe we're going to replay the events of the first film and see that she has had her eye on him. Oh yeah, she's been watching her song. That'd we be get cool. this beautiful musical shot that looks like it's from the 2002 movie Chicago. Arthur runs down the same street that we saw him running down in the 2019 film. He's chased by two. I mean, this trailer is just a teaser trailer. This might be a harsh take, but at the same time, I feel like it makes sense to me. So let me know what you think. And the when it comes to movie trailers, sometimes they show a little too much of the movie. So you kind of understand what's happening in the movie. Which is not a bad thing, because of course you need to know what's going to happen in the movie if you want to watch it. But it's like, dang, it's kind of like a spoiler. Smile, that was a great movie. We watched it on the channel. Check it out if you want to. If you want to watch it after this one, a great smile. One, one of the best jump scares in the movie. It was ruined because it was used in the trailer, and I'm not. I'm not going to lie. That jump scare was one of the main reasons that made me want to see the movie. So I see how you know that helps the movie, but it takes away from it. I wish I could experience that jump scare, not knowing it was going to happen. So I feel like if movie trailers just drop teasers, something like this, is this a teaser? It's, I swear it said teaser trailer. Yeah, official tra teaser trailer. Yeah, you have to tease. You have to tease niggas a little bit. You have to like, hey, come on, you, you want some of this? You, you sure you want some? You know, take a little, a little bit. No Diddy though. My fault. That's my fault. My fault. I. Ain't. 
I didn't mean to say. We see Harley painting the Harlequin lines down her eyebrows and her cheeks, and it kind of feels like the unhinged moment when Arthur in the 2019 film painted his face and then just like pulled his cheeks up into a smile. And I think it's interesting that this trailer ends with this amazing shot of Arthur forcing his face into a smile drawn by Harley Quinn. There's some just incredible symbolism in this. This video is sponsored by- Ah, uh, this video is sponsored by me. If you want to see the full uncut versions of the movies we watch in this beautiful channel we have right here. <laughs> <laughs> and also get you some merch is also in the description you know get get cozy with the kid you know what i'm saying we got we got, got the onesies we got the hoodies and we got the t-shirts get you some join the lawbreaker subscribe it's free turn on post notifications all right back to the video Hush. she walks up the steps of the courthouse and check out these signs of the crowd free joker arthur fleck killed something something gotham forever joker then like a christian cross a sign that says resist and then a grim reaper sickle then interesting Coogan playing some kind of reporter asking tell us what changed arthur which the notice is newspaper hey. free on all charges oh how did God. he do it so presumably arthur will convince the judge or the jury that he killed murray on live tv by the way out of self-defense or that maybe there was some other kind of problem with the case you, did you say self defense? Self defense. Come on, be for real. Be for real. Don't pull that card. Don't don't pull that. Don't, like don't pull a me mental illness card now. So I was gonna say something crazy. That happened before? No. You know, school sh happened. Boom, boom, boom. Kids got shot. I'm talking babies. I'm I'm I'm, I'm 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 talking kids. All right. I'm not even trying to be funny with this. Just listen to me. And then the person that did it got off on mental illness charges. And they didn't get like no like they just got sent to the psych ward for reevaluation. Has I feel like that if, that if that has happened or if that ever happens, I'm going to um Zimbabwe. I'm not. I'm making a city like Akon. Who want to come? Who want to come to the Lawbreaker City? We 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 abide by the laws in Lawbreaker City. But if you want to come, you know what I'm saying? We we're all about peace, positivity, and um good vibes over there. Of course, good moods for sure. Have a good mood. If you put me in a good mood, I'm put you in a good. And if we're all collectively in a good mood. What more do I have to say? We all saw it happen. Is he going to argue that this was some kind of like mass delusion and that it's going to work? Maybe arguing that everyone in Gotham is so crazy that they view a plain in sight murder as possibly justified. It looks like there's a guy dressed up as Prince, which is perfect because, of course, Prince recorded music for the 1989 Tim Burton Batman film. And that was part okay. of the reason it cuffed in the backseat of this truck as he's brought well, what in. What is that hairline? He got a yarmulke on. hanging on the back window, and that kind of looks like one of the masks from the opening heist sequence in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight. That's the one who goes, Where did you? I haven't, I haven't watched Dark Knight. I, I, I definitely have watched it, like, but when did that movie come out? Let's see. Let's do some research. 2018. See, I was uh, six years old. Yeah. I definitely passed by my parents' room while they were watching it once or twice. Does that mean we have to watch it for the shadows? Hey, 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 I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing the idea out there. Y'all can catch it if y'all want. This is your cue to, like, leave in the comments or. You know, DM me on Instagram and Twitter, like, yo, react to this movie, Re react to The Dark Knight, react to, you know what I'm saying, like, put your two cents in, let me know. Then this explosion rocks the press conference, and you know a lot of these reporters would not have made it. There's, like, TV news cameras. What the hell happened here? Gotham is going to be set ablaze. I'm really worried. Harley points yeah, to where's Joker while he's on Batman. stage, and I assume this is, like, we need act, Batman. But notice this shot. At 151, Harley smears blood on her lips, and this is a courtroom, folks. You can see lawyers and their paperwork on the desk. Is that vagina blood on her, period? Ew. Ew, brother. Ew. Brother. Ew. Brother. Ew. <laughs> With Harley drawing the lipstick. Yes, yeah, that was face, an amazing that ending right there. Arthur's cheek and walking. That he just and forces the smile. That actually, in order to pull off the shot, I bet what they did is they put a monitor within Walking Phoenix's eye line behind. Like, All right, Gaga. nerd. All right, nerd. I didn't ask. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm joking, Eric Voss. If you ever see this video, I love you. I watch your videos every single time a, a, a new a new Marvel show drops. Every time, every uh, literally as soon as I get out the movie theaters, boom, I'm straight to your channel, New Rockstar channel. I love you guys. I love you. I'm just letting you guys know I put y'all on. I put y'all. You see this man? He talking about anything and everything. He he has the information you need. Uh, showing the exact camera position. Love you, Eric. I love you. And Jessica. And um. Uh, there's, there's another black dude. I haven't seen him in a while, so like you know, it, it, 
No hard feelings. Interrogating the Riddler in the 2022 Batman film. You know the scene from the infamous new rock star's thumbnail. Does he know? Does he this know? Movie, like, Let's not forget that what made the release of The Dark Knight such a huge weekend for all of movies everywhere was that the other movie in the movie theaters was Mamma Mia. That was the original Barbenheimer, folks. Comment down below with your the, thoughts. The, the Barbenheimer, the really? Bar Barbenheimer? I still haven't seen the Oppenheimer. We have, a lot, we, have a lot, we have a lot of stuff to watch on this channel. Anyway, that explained everything I needed to know so I could be ready for this movie when it drops October. Da -da 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 Are we going to be watching it on this channel or am I seeing it in the movie theaters? Let me know because I will go see it in the movie theaters so fast. You don't have to ask. You don't have to tell me twice. I'll go see it right now. I'll get a time machine, go to the future, see it right now. I'm excited now. I'm excited. When I really think about it, music does so much for me. I'm going to say I need music to live. That's saying a lot, but music is one of my coping mechanisms. No joke, not even joke. Quite literally a couple hours ago when I was taking my shower, getting ready and everything, I was listening to the Black Panther album. The first one. Boy, with Kendrick Lamar. When I tell you when that album came out, the album came out like a week before the first Black Panther dropped. That was the only thing I was listening to for like a week straight. And then when I saw the movie, Oh my gosh, it was just such a great combination. So combination. that's true. Make music is so important. Get, get some music in your life. Also, guys, I do make music. So if you guys do want to check that out, I'll, I'll put it in the description too. I, I'll go add my like my Spotify and my Apple Music. If you guys want to check out my music, I, I'm still getting into it. But you know, I be dipping and dabbling here and there. So love me some music. And I love y'all. If this video put you in a go mode, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe today to join the Lawbreakers. Because guess what? It's completely free, my nigga. You have nothing else to say. If you enjoyed yourself, if I made you chuckle, you better subscribe. Because I will find your grandma and slap her. What a grandma do, don't know. Subscribe. See y'all in the next video because you already know. So it's a vickity vickity vibe. <laughs> Why did I do that like I was doing coke again? I, do, I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs. Vibe on this channel. He and Natalie Chopper. I am a menace. Keep me a rap, it's like.